Here we go. Where's that episode three? A part three. Let's go talk to Paula. What's up, Popola? Oh, hi. I j I am writing this in hopes of bringing in your attention a certain dream issue of concern regarding recent events in dream the village I was hoping I might be dream able to get your advice dream on the matter recently there have been dream reports dream dream of a certain dream 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 of dream 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 evil dream 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 empty dream close dream 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 evil dream 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 rewards dream 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 and dream 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 someone dream. Okay. That is certainly one. Who's it from? The mayor of a small village in the forest of myth. Oh. It's a wooded area up north. The forest of myth? Forest of myth. They're usually a bright and cheerful group of people. Something I have a bad feeling about this. I'll check it out. Uh you will? Don't worry about it. I've got business there anyway. Oh, well, alright. Okay. I didn't know that. Why are you not streaming lock? Who am I streaming lock? Yeah. What is there to stream about for lock? Something that wouldn't get views? I'm so sorry. Yeah, I. No one's fighting. At least I'm not fighting. Finishing the delivery now. Best go back and apologize. Yeah, I guess. Um, I'm gonna be posting videos on the lock court. I have nothing to stream about on that. And people as well have asked me to play different type of games. So I thought I'll just make this game a let's play.
I have to save Yona! Calm down. You cannot prevail if you are blinded with rage. Sure is quiet here. Such silence bodes ill. There's trouble on the way. I'm certain of it. You know, a little optimism now. Okay, so map. The forest of the myth. Here we go. Is not quizzical. What's going on? Perhaps we should start by asking this man. Uh, who are you? We heard something happened to this village, so we came to see if we could help. If you can speak to me, you can see. I must have caught you in my dream. Okay. In a dream? Yep. Yeah. Mayo explained. In the past weeks. A mysterious disease called the death dream had spread across the forest of myth. Those who caught it were caused to fall asleep and live forever within the world of their own dreams. The village mayor had determined the death dream as was spread from person of spoken by words. Person to person by spoken words, but before he could learn more, the disease took him as well. West stared at the mayor. His mouth twitching slightly. Now see here. Are you saying that we have been absorbed into your dream? Well, yes. Uh, I think you have. We're in his dream. <laughs> in other words, we've caught the death dream? Before the mayor could confirm Jake's suspicion, Wes exploded with Ridiculous. Way. Preposterous. Completely unfathomable on every conceivable level. I don't even recall falling asleep. That's just how the death dream works. My remarks are not to be brushed aside, fool. What they had discussed says coming to the village. Something there must have caused you to enter my dream. A certain conversation, a specific word, something. Oh, Jake and Wes were black, their brains, but could find no easy solution. There was simply too many words to consider, too much random chatter, too many meaningless conversations. Grimoire Vice does not engage in meaningless conversations. The mere suggestion that Wes chose his words carelessly seemed to sting his pride. It does not seem to sting my pride, you bloated gas bag of a narrator. It has demolished it utterly. Irritated, Wes looked skyward as if searching for answers in the heavens. I was doing no such thing. Just leave me alone already. The anger created by his harsh words bled over to Jake with a contagion. Wait, said Jake suddenly. Did someone just say contagion? Yes, I believe so. What of it? Well, 
That villager told us to watch out for contagious wolves, right? The mayo leaned forward with renewed interest, pushed a startled west aside of the process. He must have said something, right? asked the mayo. Some specific combination of words? What was it? It was about dreaming. It was something that dream saw. Oh, what the hell was it? A sheep? Cried last suddenly, boarding out the first thing that popped into his mind. The others stared at him for a moment before slowly shaking their heads. After a few more moments of thought, Jake's face suddenly looked up while well, mine. I remember, I said. Those who dream. That's what he said. I'm sure of it. At this, the mayor produced a thick sheep. The paper was on his pocket. He foo fooed them a few times before finally nodding his approval at me. That sounds right, he said, as a stray sheet of paper fluttered to the ground. My notes also mentioned something about that. I bet it was the last thing you heard before you fell asleep. The mayor shook his head, his worn pencil stub tracing lines across a rolled piece of paper. For the last months, I've done nothing but study the disease we call the death dream, he said. I mean, I'm the mayor, right? It's my job to protect the people from whatever comes along. But... I never expected a couple of outsiders saw entering people's dreams. The mayor paused, a glimpse causing his face. I should probably be taking notes or something. Last made you fight back. I pawed the force of will it takes a researcher's disease in your dreams, he said. But fate, perhaps we should bend your efforts to escaping this place instead of trying to understand it. The mayor's hand tightened around his pencil, snapping off the tip. I've tried to escape from the very first moment of words I walked in some of my own dreams. I've always been looking for a way out, but I think it exists. I don't think it exists. I mean, this is my dream, right? If there was an exit, I'd know about it. He paused for a moment, his unfocused eyes staring at nothing. My village was beautiful, he said to no one in particular, and it was filled with the most wonderful people. You could ever hope to meet. But once this disease took hold, things changed. It's like somebody took a sponge and soaked all the color out of our lives. I just want us to be whole again. I want us to be free. And I won't stop trying until it happens. Jake, me, nodded in agreement. Huh, wait a second. I didn't nod. <laughs> Fuck. We can be all of any help. S said me. Just ask. Now hold on. I did not just say that. Silence! Cried us. The Grimwall looked from Jake to the man back and his face full of confidence. Grimwall lasses face is always confident. Thank you very much. Now see here, Mayo. You told us that nothing can exist in this dream without you knowing of it. But yet you seem surprised to see us when we first arrived, yes? The male slowly lays his head, realization drawing on his face. Oh my god, he said. You're right, you're right. I had no idea you were coming. The human imagination is a limitless engine, said Wes, and dreams of the field. If you can't imagine an exit, then it must be so. With your permission, we shall search it out. Thank you, said the male. I don't know how I can repay you. Payment is now required. We are eager as you are to be done with this place. The mayor suddenly felt as if he could believe again. He almost forgot what it was like. Good luck, you two. He called it the departing forms of me, of Wes and I. We are all counting on you. As I slowly faded into the misty forest, the mayor was struck by a sense of deja vu. I saw the man once before he fell, but well. My mood darkened as he tread through the forest. I was told you, when the beauty of the place was so new, thank you for coming that they could get in, find an exit, exit, and be home in the time for dinner. But the deeper they went, the more the floors closed in around, and the mist made it difficult to see more than a foot in any direction. The moss covered rocks seemed to turn in the trust his ankle. More, more than at once, he'd been forced to steady himself on the rough bark of a tree, and his hands on the left. Small trails of blood on everything he touched. Additionally, Wes was proving to be sp sp spectacular. 
poor traveling companion, unhindered by either terrain or physical effort. He spent most of his time urging myself to pick up the pace and grumbling about the slow progress. Finally, after Wes muttered something about rigorous turtles before more adept at navigating the environment, I snapped. Okay, Wes, claim it for a second. Would you? You don't have to walk. Jake leaned against the tree and tried to stretch the knots on his back. How can this stupid forest be so big? I muttered to myself. The moment the words trembled from my mouth, a cacophony of insects sprang to life. Have I imagined form a buzz, quick, and hiss roared out at a volume that rattled his teeth? Jake slapped his hands over his ears and screamed at Behold, Wes, what's going on? Jake could see Wes's mouth moving, but he might as well have been shouting in a tornado. The insects screamed, the forest howled, and then just as Jake's ears seemed ready to tear from his head and go running for cover, the sound diminished. Hesitantly, he removed the hand from his left ear and listened to the creatures of woods. Shree, 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 shree. As the insect symphony dimmed another disciple, Jake began to detect patterns in the sound. This isn't random, he thought. It's not just white noise, it's something else. The insects weren't just calling out, they were asking a question. One, if it is lacking. Two, if it's ideal. Three, if it's dangerous. What is it? By my pages, this is a little. I guess so. I mean, it feels sort of foolish, but maybe it's the key to getting out of this place. Then I leave it to you to answer. One, if it is lacking. Two with it is ideal. Three with it is da dangerous. It's a secret. Cause like, a lot of people it's lacking because like it's hard to hold secrets. Two, it's ideal because sometimes you have to protect yourself and it's dangerous because it's dangerous because you're just like when you're like keep it a secret that makes people wanna tell people in order to feel is that Wes left the task them. Jake Stein gave the answer that made sense it's a secret alright the sound of the insect stopped as suddenly as it began the force Undergrowth parted before Jake, like a rippling wave opening a new path. These four orthotropes are making a road for us, said the West of Glee. Please, in passing the test. Nice! Jake moved on with new intensity. The path offered his body relief from the undergrowth, but gave Human greater cheer to his mind as long as they were on a path their journey had put a purpose. That's the force that accepted us, huh? Said Jake after a bit. Ha ha. Wes spun around to his face. His companion. Do not mistake the will of the force for some happy pet. You can suddenly be fun. We have no idea where this path leads. As Wes finished speaking, the pair turned a corridor and found themselves facing a clear force spring smi smiling. Jake picked up a rock and sent it skipping across the surface of the water. Good heavens, said Wes. His surprise was understandable. Each time the rock struck the surface of the water, a musical note rang out. When the rock finally stopped moving, sank to the bottom of the spring. The ripples it left behind came together to form words. I enter through the window, but break no glass. When night falls, I vanish. What am I? Absurdly easy, barked West. Now answer it. I enter through the window, but breaking no glass. 
When night falls, I vanish. Sunlight. Jake with his teeth and try not to reach out and strangle his companion. He's like, after all, this one is pretty easy. Sunlight. A poem of water suddenly blows from the spring. Sunlight filtered through the trees and reflected off the plume, creating a shimmering rainbow that spanned the entire horizon. In all my years at West Softly, I've never seen such a sight. Perhaps I misunderstood the intentions of this place. Hey look, cried Jake, awaking glass from his days. There's a house or something over there. Glancing, glancing in the direction of his friend's extended hand, Wes saw a small cottage nestled, nestled among the trees. That's weird, isn't it, Wes? I mean, who would build a house all the way out here? Jake walked over and pounded on the door. After a minute of silent banging, the door cracked open and a small man peered out. His body was clothed from neck to toe in a large black cape while his face was obscured by mist. Um, began me, but before he could get any farther, the cloak man held a hand up and began speaking. I have four legs in the morning and two at noon. But, and the night with three. What am I? What the heck? Check that as a cloak man who he was and what he was doing there, but simply repeated the question. If we wish to engage this man in conversation, said Russ, seems we must answer this riddle. Yeah, I suppose it's, said Jake, well at least it's an easy one. It is? I don't get it. What do we think? I don't want to screw this up. So, I have four legs in the in the morning and two at noon. I don't know why angels would get different legs at different times. How would a man do that? Just go like a man. The mist dissolved from the cloaked figure as he spoke the single word. Collect! Let's go! With that, the man flung his garment aside, revealing his true identity. You, you are the male, cried Jake. The small man slowly shook his head. I'm not the male you know, knows in my words. Long ago I saw a version of you. Excuse me, that was not yourself. Oh, uh, sorry, what's that mean? It will make sense of time at present. I simply congratulate you on cracking the seal of the death dream. Now you must go to the post at the first entrance. With that, the man turned on his heel and slammed the door behind him. As Jake watched, Miss slipped up from the ground and... and 
fell up to the cottage, erasing it from existence. When Jake and Les returned from the forest entrance, they found the mayor leaning against a tree. As soon as he caught sight of the deal, he sprang to his feet and scrambled over to them. Good gravy, he cried. You made it. You actually made it back. His left hand grabbed Jake and pumped it so fiercely it threatened the dislodge from the socket. Wow. His light seized Les by the cover and slung him through the air. God, by the heavens, stop shaking me, fool! We have not even told you if we were successful or not. The mayor smiled broadly and shook his head. I'm just happy you're alive. I didn't think I would ever see you again. Jake withdrew himself from the mayor's eager handshake with a slight smile. We broke the death dream seal. At least, I think we did. The mayor face beamed at me, filled him in on the details. When the tale was done and the three of them lay down on the forest ground and fell asleep, I cocked my head. Okay, hang on a second. This is crazy. Why would we just lay down and go to sleep? Seize your endless portal and go to sleep, fool. Fighting against the rules of this place is fortified. Fighting. Fertility itself. Me and the mayor obediently are climbing atop the grisly earth. Have you forgotten? Continue us. It is the words that control the death dream. Words that allow us to move from place to place. No matter how natural they seem, the words are absolute. Therefore, if the words tell us to sleep, then sleep we shall. And once we do, the story will continue. With that, the trio found their eyes growing heavy, their breath slowing. There's the first time. Began the mayor. The first time I have ever felt tired since I was imprisoned here. His words were caught up by a loud, long yawn. And he remembered something. Remember nothing more. They might have slept for an hour or a year when they awoke. Things had a slightly more recorded to them. The mayor felt thick of the leaves green. It was clear that they had awakened from their dream. Jake. Chuck the made a sh- sh- shorter sound like. Good news, he said. I think we made it. Oh my. I was spinning through the village. And I wanted to, well. I thought I could figure out how to stop it, but I guess that wasn't the case. I just had caught the disease and became trapped in my own dream. The mayor started to stand, then collapsing back to the office. He started his legs as if to remember how they walked, then glancing at me and shrugged. Oh, well, you shall be warned and show order. I am sure, said Wes, for now you should return to your home in last. No, said the mayor, swaying on the unsteady feet. No, I can't. Some of the villagers are still trapped in the death dream. I have to save them. The mayor slowly made his way to the vine tree in the center of the villagers and bowed his head and prayed silently. This is the holy tree, he explained. When the prayer has, was finished, it's the guardian of the village, history, and memories. Superstition will only make our mission harder, muttered Russ. We should not put our faith in the gods. The mayor shook his head. Not the gods, the words. Legend said that our tree is home to a powerful magic known as a sealed vessel. Jake and Wes could not contain the surprise. It seemed the gold has been found in the most unexpected of places. I say, Mother Russ, this is certainly a struck of luck. As the three of them said their goodbyes, Jake mentioned the stray man who had given them the third riddle and the mysterious word he had left them with. I once saw a version of you that was not yourself, muttered the mayor. What in the world does that mean? Lawson thought he started in space. He stared in sp- into space for a long moment. You know, he said softly, this is going to sound odd, but I had a feeling I'd seen you before too. Jake tried to keep a straight face and failed, but the mayor didn't seem to notice. JJ flew away anyway. I thought it was just some kind of illusion created by the death stream. It probably doesn't mean anything. Jake gave the mayor a nod and smiled, but inwardly, his thoughts were racing. There was something wrong about the mayor and his words, and ex- what exactly is going on here. The widow, 
would prove to be the most difficult one oh, of all. Thank you so much. Now I can finally. I can stop talking now. I think that. This is one of the most bizarre diseases I have ever encountered. I know. That's why we have to help the other villagers, no matter what. Oh! For a sealed verse, that didn't take much effort. Yes, all a touch too easy, if you ask me. It's almost as if someone was guiding us to this village. Don't overthink advice. This person must be dreaming too. It's what appeared. Can't say I'm very excited to go. Perhaps you should spend less time com Yeah, yeah. I don't even want to read all of this. I box my poison. Top of the coffin of Valve all covered in a thick way of dust and cobwebs. Searching for the door to the next room, I come upon a shapeless mass. A clay man who has been shoved against the side of the wall, and despite my fever, I think I see the outlines of a door just far beyond. I reach out and touch a piece of the mass, and it turns out that it's dust and drifts away in the wind. Realization slowly drawns, and I fall to my knees and weep. Corpses, I face the mountain. Shared a on crumbling corpses. I look from it into the bed. What type of dream is this? Someone has built these bodies into a towel and set them ablaze? Oh my god. I make a sound whether I scream or laughter, I cannot be certain. Then my mind grants me masterful and I find myself opening the door and relieving the most terrified of wounds. I scream. Let's go east. North. We're gonna go east again. Find myself in the gray hall with only the sounds of the rain for comfort. The water log, red carpet squishes beneath my feet as I approach the center of the room. Once there, I behold a beautiful dining table upon which rested the china and silver of the finest construction, as well as the remains of a fantastic feast. As my eyes continue to adjust, I see many chairs surrounding the table, each holding a dinner. Gasped. Noticing movement, I approach the chair at the table's head, but as the truth of the matter dawns on me, I will call and hold. The host of the feast is a corpse, as well as all the invite guests. And all me are foul, wiggling incense have made home in their remains, and this is the moment I saw. This once splendid feast was not nothing more than a regime for the dam. I take a moment to steady my shaking hands and slowly back away from the table. Desperate to lose sight of the abomination before me, my gaze lands on the chairs upon which the dead were seated. This is a mistake for the chairs of food are even more terrified than the feast itself. We each one is covered in a layer of spikes that run from the seat up the back and down the arms. This explains the color of the carpet beneath the feet. I can only play for the unfortunate dinners were dead when the meal began. 
full of not the simple task to envision the agonized screen that must have sprung full from the mouse. My, my mind grasped frantically at the possibility that the souls had committed some terrible crime for which this was punishment. Though in truth, I suspected they had committed no crime at all. There would be no tomorrow for these unfortunates. This was the last supper. I squint down the dim hallways. North? Cause I hope we'll make it to the front door. But get down, someone cries, and so I give myself the effort. In tangent with Jake and Grim of West, I slam my body against the thick sturdy door and the third try it gives a try to gives away. I find myself spot on the ground outside the castle. The storm is in retreat, the clouds above so dark and forbidden bounding. But to the west I can see thin shimmer of some like trying to break through. How can I thank you? I cried as tears join on, on my cheeks. I would surely have died in them. Looking down, I suddenly notice that my dress is in tatters and my ship is to try to cover my exposed skin. You're just asked Wes? Then you are a woman, ma'am. I am? The pro the pro I pro for the, the two a smile. I suppose that it comes as something of a surprise seeing as how I exist only in the form of words. <laughs> yeah. I can see that the one known as Jake is disappointed that the torn dress will will be given no further description, but he hides it well with a nod and a shrug. The three of us set forth to our awakening, but behind us an awakening of another kind is taking place. Black smoke fills the abandoned castle, providing the countless damned souls inside with their final shroud. After a moment, the castle's windows shadow with a mighty roar, a fresh blaze blows through the hallways and corridors, clearing the smoke away for good. As we watch in awe, accountable, black shadows slowly flicker to life, crossing to and fro in front of the broken windows. The hmm. castle is dead. Oh. Hmm. Do you have anything to say about that? Uh, hopefully there will be no labyrinth next time. I hear that. We're gonna do it. And another victim. Oh my god, that took way too long. So, how was the village? Oh, it was truly magnificent. There are no words. Really. Huh. Nick, let's get back to Popola. She'll probably want to know what's...
गए I was about to go move it for you. Oh. I like this new ability. <laughs> and I see that people are watching. No one's letting me know if they want me to record the full the death dream certainly is episode more the beginning of the game. Yeah, it was something all right. Even I, with my natural love for words, have no desire to visit that place ever again. You guys did well. Mm -hmm. You've been making a lot of long trips lately. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. I can't just sit around all day while Yona's sick, after all. If you say so. So, anything I can do for you? Well, I suppose there is one thing I could use a hand with. Have you heard about our plans to repair the canal? Oh. The work probably won't happen for a while. But once it's done, we can use the canal for trade and travel and all kinds of useful things. Unfortunately, however, we're a bit behind schedule at the moment. If you're willing to help out, I'd really appreciate it. No problem. Anything what do you for need? You. Great. So, the man I originally asked to help on this project hasn't shown up for work in a few days. I'm starting to get a little worried. Okay. So, maybe you can head over to Seafront and check up on him? I'll mark the location of his house on your map. He always carries a red bag over his shoulder, so he should be easy enough to find. Got it. I'll let it back over a shoulder. A canal, is it? Fascinating. If we had a ferry, we could put these days of endlessly running about behind us. Don't you just float everywhere anyway? Do you think I am borne aloft by the winds, lad? It takes stamina to maintain this height. Oh, really? You could at least try to hide the utter dismay, you know. Excuse me. You mean Granddad? He passed away. His heart finally gave out on him. Oh, man. Looks like... Here, hold on a second. His dog had this leaf in his mouth when we... That's the herb Granddad used for his heart medication. Well, I suppose I owe you a great deal. I can't give you much, but... I hope you'll such a faithful and you think Max oh. and Granddad are together in heaven? I do. I'm sure of it. Oh. Excuse me, but I don't think so. When I got home, I found a note from him that said he was leaving and not to look for him. What if he's left the village? Please, you have to help me. I'll pay you whatever you want. My son shouldn't be too hard to spot. He wears a very odd hat. You can see it from a mile away. Oh yeah. Okay. Hi there. The guard at the northern gate says he ordered some weapons. For oh, you know, I did have an order for that, huh? Uh, here's a little something for the. Tr
That was epic. That I would never kill him. Because I got wrecked by him the other day. I'm not gonna get kicked by you. Starving. A city of this size must have some manner of eatery nearby. Um, hey, uh, are you the guy who's supposed to help repair the canal? Popol has sent me to- Oh god, it's over. My life is over. <sighs> Surely you must realize nothing good can come of being involved with this particular- Easy, Vice. Hey, so- are you all right? No, it's happened? my wife. She left home a week ago and hasn't come back. I'm Aww. so worried I can't even focus on my work. Oh, my sweet dumpling, where are you? Oh, that's terrible. Would you like us to help you look for it? Yeah. Really? Gonna... You do that for me? Yeah, sure. Buddy. Uh, but do you have any idea where we should start? Hmm. Well, she always used to enjoy drinking at the tavern with her friends. Okay, All right, the then I guess we'll start with them. Thank you. This means the world to me. Oh, and by the way, my wife always carries a red bag, just like mine. If you mention that, it might ring some bells. I've met some odd couples in my day, but none who felt the need to wander about flaunting matching luggage. <laughs> you need to get with the times. Coordinated outfits are all the rage. <laughs> Plus, these bags are special. We bought them for our anniversary. That's but cute. now my sweet dumpling is gone. <laughs> and it's okay, okay. Everybody. Just stay calm. We'll go. I'm willing to bet that man knows more about his wife absconding than he's letting on. Hey there, I'm, uh, looking for a woman carrying a red bag. Are you now? Interesting. Did something happen to her? She hasn't been home, and her husband's worried. Do you know anything about where she might be? <laughs> Trouble in paradise, is it? Oh, those two never change. Anyway, the short answer is no. She hasn't been around here, either. Though, come to think of it, she always got on well with the woman over at the tackle shop. Maybe I'll do okay, that. The hey, shop. what's the rush? You've got a cute face. Why not sit here and just... Uh, sorry, ma'am. What is it this time, cutie? You change your... Uh, still a... Oh, I was like, I'll change my mind. by any chance a red bag oh sure although now that i think about it i haven't seen her in a while last time she came around she mentioned something about leaving town but i figured it was just idle talk leaving town huh all right if she has truly left this charming hamlet finding her may prove most difficult indeed i just hope she hasn't been attacked by shades or anything
music is so good. Identical to the red satchel, perhaps it belongs to. Oh no! I fear it like. Oh, well, this is terrible. However difficult it may. Is this only PC? No, it's on Xbox One and PlayStation 4, I believe. Hey, did you find my sweet dumpling? We didn't, but we got this off a of shade. Let me look at it right now for you. So off. Oh God. <laughs> is... If I may, yeah. my good man, why did your wife leave? It's because. Yeah, platform. Yeah, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or Steam. With all the money I spent in lack, I could have bought console. With my money, just save up and get a PC. We should give him some time. Cause then you can play lock on PC. But that's why I don't. I'm free to play on lock now. I don't want to spend any more money. Honey, oh. You're a wreck. What's wrong? Dumpling, you're not dead. What in the world are you talking about? Oh, oh you found my bag. Thank you so much. I can't believe I went and dropped it like that. Oh, this is such a relief. Okay, yeah, seriously. I see. So, he found a shade with my bag and assumed I'd been attacked and killed? I'm just glad you're safe, Dumpling. But I'm also so sorry. This is all my fault. Oh, if I didn't eat that apple you were saving. God, I'm such an idiot! Listen, I promise I'll never eat anything of yours again. You just promise never to run away from home again, okay? <laughs> run away? Have you lost your mind? I just went to visit my parents. <laughs> I told you about this. Going to see my family, gone for a week. <laughs> Remember? Ugh, are you serious right now? Why don't you ever listen to me? Damn. Um... Lad, my brilliant intuition suggests we should beat a hasty retreat from these two with all. I can't believe you didn't listen to me, and you ate my apple. You are the absolute worst. What? Oh, like you're some perfect angel. You didn't even care enough about our anniversary to hang on to your bag. You, kid. I'm right about this, yeah? If anyone's wrong here, it's my wife, right? Wait, you're asking me? Well, you shouldn't have eaten your wife's apple. That's not very nice. But I was hungry, and it was just sitting there. <laughs> Look, I'm glad you went looking for my wife and all, but that was low, friend. Low. Uh -oh. Did I cross a line there? Besides, it's pretty rich to come after me for an apple when you threw away my entire stamp collection. Ha! You're damn right I did. And I'd do it again. You are nothing but a hoarding slob. 
You there. My husband's in the wrong here, isn't he? Uh, pardon, but madam, I... Oh, enough. The both of you are at fault. Now apologize to one another and end this ridiculous display. Good talk for a floating magazine. I see you finally agree on something. You stop playing lock. Do you not even understand how frustrating this is, you colossal oaf? It is fine. Hate me. I'll still spice. I'm taking a break from it now. You turn on your heel and walk away as fast as your legs can carry. That's it. I have had enough. Instead of belittling me, why don't you get a proper job? Everyone in the neighborhood treats me like dirt, and it's all because of my unemployed slob of a husband. Uh, actually, I have a job now. Wait, you what? You're kidding. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> That's great. Well, I sort of wanted it to be <laughs> a surprise. Oh, you big silly <laughs> Billy. Well, this calls for a celebration. Come on, I'm going to bake you a nice apple pie. <sighs> I have no idea what just transpired. But well, looks like they made up, so... In the course of all that madness, I have forgotten why we even... Oh, heck, the canal. We need... I can't thank you. Uh, sure, but listen. All oh, right. That's well. Now that my love life is rolling in clover again, I'd be more than. Heavens, that was exhausting. Tell me about it. Anyway, let's go give Popola an update. Mm, no, I don't. I only have Xbox. I don't have PlayStation. I have an Xbox One. I have all three systems of the Xbox. But I actually got the original Xbox after getting my Xbox 360, and I don't even have the plug for it. But I have one, just in case if I get that. So. Oh, so now I have to fight this guy, even though I already did. And that's why I'm not playing lock because I know there's some people who watch my channel not just for lock for different games or just for me as a creator which I really appreciate so I'm just trying to bring new things to the channel so I have diverse content Wow.
Or do I not even have to fight that? Oh, I'll get lacked. Full XP. What other games do you have for Xbox? Um, I have the Game Pass. Uh, and then, I don't know, I don't play Xbox that much anymore. I don't have time. You hunted down the boar, and it looks like you found a boar. They say boars become tame around folks who carry one of those. Apparently, they'll even let you ride. <laughs> Sounds like hokum to me. But if you're. Hey. I can ride bulls now. Goodness, it sounds like the canal repairman had quite the problem on his hands. I'm glad everything turned out all right. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. Don't mention it. I'm looking forward to seeing how the canal... If you need anything else from us, just say... Hey, wait. Huh? I almost forgot. Yeah. Huh? Of course. She said she needed something from you. I guess so. Yeah, well, what about our day we were supposed to have? Thanks for securing those herbs. Can I ask you a favor? Sure. I heard you and Devla used to sing together at the tavern, and I was... Oh, goodness. Well, yes, it's... Too busy? That's part of it. But also, I need a certain drink before I can sing in public. I'm a little shy. <laughs> well, that should be no problem, right? It's... Actually, yeah. the stuff I like to drink is pretty rare. Still, they used to order it from the tavern in Seafront from time to time, so... You okay. I get a whole specific drink. What a, what a classy lady. Do you like... That's cool, love the diversity. Do you like 420? Uh... I mean, like, I'm a fan for it. I live in a state where it's legalized. So I see the benefits of it. Good for the economy. Yay. Popola said you needed something? Yeah. A favor, actually. What is it? Um. I can't help if you don't tell me, sis. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna sing. Well, yeah, I'm ready. ready. I need you to help my friend. You're. Yep. I have a friend. Seriously? Okay. So who is this? Um, well, it's a he. he. Yes, and he's sick and in a whole lot of trouble. And I know that you and Vicey are the only. I see. Tell Why me about is he? this guy. He lives in this really big house down south, and he's super nice. So you have to help him. Yona, listen. Please. Great. Now what do I do? I can't say no to her. Fine. I'll see what I Yay. Great. Yona's got a boyfriend. Is something amiss, lad? Your voice is trembling. No, it isn't. Shut up.
It's three medicinal herbs, three berries, and three royal... That's all. Hmm. Which job should I give you first? I heard someone needs help organizing books. I wrote down the client's location on your map. These creatures let us dispatch them without complaint. And what would make them appear in this area in the first place? This is hardly what one would call especially fertile ground. Oh my god! He just scared the heck out of me.
They're just slowly multiplying. Am I supposed to go this way? Hold up. Oh, now nah, I have to go here. Are you from America? Yeah. See, my brother. We have been waiting for you, sirs. Oh, okay. Go. But when I came here the first time, there was little spiders outside. Jay came back. He came back to me. Who's Jonas? Jonas? Okay, here we are. Wait here. Waiting's a bitch. Just let me know if. like this one bit what's the matter vice scared you really said darkness on it uh, perhaps we should hmm. uh, <laughs> the moon Oh, 
Oh yeah, am I not supposed to? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to stay where I was at. Hey, where'd Kaine go? I knew this was a terrible idea. Haunted manners and the like. Oh, why does no one ever... Why did I leave? Why? What the heck? Okay, so I have to go back out this way. Someone get you out of here? creeped out this is when I was telling me to turn back uh, it looks like it's in pain it, yes uh, come now So I got the key from the moon door. Shades. What oh no. Hole did they call from? Spider. You're a male. Young. Not even twenty. figured that out from my footsteps? It's not hard, once you know how. Then I suppose I should tell you about my friend Vice. I... I only heard one set of footsteps. Grimoire Vice does not strut about like a common land mammal. <laughs> but enough of this introductory chatter. Let us hear your tale. My name is Emil. I'm the master of this manor. So you're the one who sent the letters? Letters? What are you talking about? Of course you don't know. Such a thing would be far too simple. 
No, stay back. Huh? I'm sorry. It's my eyes. Anything I look at gets turned to stone. Oh. That's why I live with this blindfold. What a remarkable skill. I've never heard of such a thing. Anyway, I suppose my butler might know more about the letters you received. This key here can unlock any door in the manor. So if you'd like my assistance... No, please, don't trouble yourself. We can get around on our own. Oh, right. Sure. Well, here's the key then. The butler's quarters are at the far end of the man. Let me at least give you a map. It's a big place. Leave her. That woman is capable enough on her own. Jeez, remind me to never get on your bad side. That's how people are in the stone. What's that? A butler, or at least a remarkable likeness. I knew this was a trap. Whoa. Is that another one? Hmm. <laughs> it moves. What's going on here? Sir? What is this? Oh, this is my butler. He helps me out around the manor. He's a good man at heart, but a bit inflexible. Almost like a statue. Yes. And I do apologize for that, Master Emil. <laughs> I doubt he's even human. We're here because my sister received some letters from this manor. Mm, yes, I wrote those letters. Please forgive my impertinence. As you may know, Master Emil, deeply pained by his eyes, has shut himself away from the world. He suffers greatly behind that blindfold, and I feel it is my duty to help however I can. I heard tale of the exploits of an emerging hero, and so I sent a letter to you under Master Emil's name. 
but I received a response from one Miss Yona instead. Wait, so Yona's pen pal is you? Oh. It is, sir. My letters merely requested that you come to the manor. I meant no real intent. I believe Yona saw the exchange somewhat differently. Yeah, sounds like she misunderstood the situation. Regardless, I am quite pleased to see you here. Long have I dreamed of the day we might be able to do something about Master Emil's eyes. I see. Yes, well, I am afraid we, or at least this lad beside me, is neither hero nor physician, so if you'll excuse us... Please, we're so close. The cure for Master Emil's condition is located in this very manner. Then why don't you just go get it? Alas, the location of the cure has become a den for those abominable shades. And I lack the skill to combat them. I beg of you, defeat the shades and restore Master Emil's sight. You know this is an impossible task. Why would you ask it of our guests? Well, we've no more time to waste. It's okay. We'll do it. See here, lad. This is no time to play the hero. People need to look out for each other, Vice. Plus, we have to find Kaine anyway. A thousand thank yous. I owe you a debt that can never be... I'm really sorry for all the trouble. My butler cares so much for me, but for him to make such outlandish requests... That's what I thought the dog was cute. Oh my god, now I have to find the duel. Could could made something similar to Cyclops, pretty savage for taking the eyes. Right here, if you need me, maybe my eyes can be useful for once. What is this room? Soon. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, wants me to save now. Oh my, Landis. How long have we been going? No gun. This is it. We should find the cure somewhere nearby. Bah, I do not like anything about this place. Of the book. <sighs> this book's kind of like you, Vice. Oh, aren't we clever? As if any mere tome could compare to the wonderment that is Grimoire Vice. <laughs> Ah. Uh -uh. Give me a pile. Oh no, I can't petrify it. It's just like you can do anything to me now. Matters. You guys run! I'll hold it off while you escape! Who's this kid? 
That's Emil. He's the one who runs this. Fuck, this book is a real asshole. She's not even listening. She's too busy vomiting filth disguised as language. You guys go. This is my fight. I can't ask you to die for me. I aren't we the bold one. And yet I fear that would be a foolish course of action at this juncture. And besides, we'd never let you do that. Would you all please just shut the hell up? What? I'm just saying, if you bastards want to have a goddamn civilized discussion on the merits of bravery and sacrifice, we can do it later! Is this your way of encouraging us? Have we truly sunk to motivational speeches from a woman in her undergarments? <laughs> I guess so. Easy. Could maybe something so I already got that. I don't want to say what that meant, so I meant. But that was the evil book. <coughs> She's gonna phone back together. <coughs> you what? Vice, this is it. Research report on petrification. Well, well. Okay, dark wool one. Oh no. This passage is written in some kind of code. We went through all this trouble to find it. And now... Oh look, Jeeves is back. Please allow me to handle this, Master Emil. I shall put all of my efforts into deconstructing this cipher. No matter how long it takes, I will not fail. Sebastian. Ah, so the servant has a name after all. She looks different for some reason. Emil, listen to me. What is it, Kaine? Your eyes are not a sin. Don't ever be ashamed of them. They're a vital part of you. Do you understand? I'll never give up, Kaine. But you can't give up either. Well, we're off. All right. Hey, so Yona's sick, and she doesn't get out much. Do you think you might be able to send her more letters when you have the time? I would be delighted, sir. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for everything. Take care, Emil. I hope your eyes get better soon. 
I saw you exchange some words with that Emil lad. Cursed voice. It was not. So. A young man. I have a new ability. Roland. And of his age. Speak oh. the truth, does he? Book? Shut up. Yeah, calm down, Vice. We've got our hands on How the long does that go now. for? All that remains is to find this grimoire noir. Then we can finally save Yona. It's actually like. I thought that was grimoire noir. I guess he's more powerful. down I know it won't be much longer I promise I finally collected all of the sealed verses now I just need to find grimoire noir I found all of them nice. it sounds dangerous will you be okay <laughs> of course I will is this gonna make me better? Is my cough going to go away? Definitely. Yona? You... You're... You're not gonna hate me because of this, are you? What are you talking about? It's just... Oh, I'm never hate you. Of this terrible disease. Yona, I could never hate you. <sighs> I'm gonna go see if Popola has more medicine. Hey, money. Jonas looking weaker and weaker every day. Yes, but do not lose heart. You are the girl's last remaining hope. We're getting close to that two hour point. Liking to keep those episodes around that point. Popola, Yona's cough is getting. Oh, that's not good. Any chance you could give me some more medicine? <laughs> the thing is, I actually just. I hate yeah. to ask this, but can you get me some vapor moss? Vapor moss. You'll find it growing near the. Vapor moss. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'll do this quest, and then it's gonna be the end of this episode. Of episode three, but I'll be streaming part four right after this. Because I can't stop playing this game, just gotta take a break for like 15 minutes.
Welcome. Thanks for... What is it? Neil! He doesn't seem to be sick. I can't imagine how hard it must have been to run all this way without sight. <sighs> Are you all right, Emil? I can see it. Hey, just take it easy, okay? The air. It's vibrating. I can feel it behind my eyes. So much pressure. Get out. Get out of the village. Huh? Sounds like they're already. Come on, let's. The shades are in the village. Oh no. Oh no. It's not gonna hold! Gah! Oh my god. The shades are attacking! Gate is this, uh... The hell's going on? No time, and please. Don't worry, just don't get- I won't. We have to stop them before they destroy the village! Dispatch these smaller ones as fast as you can. I'll kill every last one of you! You whelps are hardly worthy of our steel. Come on, bring everything you got! Pathetic, even in death. Me. I won't let any of you pass me. Hurry, hurry! Get the wounded to the library. What the heck? Got ourselves another boss battle. Oh, my dear God, what is that brute? I don't know, but we gotta take it down. I needed that. Can I do an attack? Ooh. Oh. Hold up.
Oh my. Okay, that's not good. Just go another arm. It's like I don't care. Regenerating shade. How will we even know if our attacks are working? We'll just have to keep hitting it until we find out. I think it's just an upgraded wizard, holy. We can climb up from here. Want you to climb up? Like hell it is. That doesn't look good. We can't let it get to the library, no matter what. Forgot about that. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. This isn't working. So what do we do? Huh? Underestimate us at your own peril, fiend. Keep hitting it. At some point, it's got to start working. Is she trying to raise our morale, or is she honestly that insane? Either one works for me. Let's go! Heading toward the library. No, that's where Yona is. You're gonna die today, shit hog. Shit hog. Oh, come now, that's not even a real word. Looks like you've learned how to swing that thing. I'm glad you noticed. Start at. Underestimate us at your own peril, Ian. Keep hitting it. At some point, it's got to start working. Is she trying to raise our morale, or is she honestly that insane? Either one works for me. Let's go. It's heading toward the library. No, that's where Yona is. Shit hog. Shit hog. Oh, come now, that's not even a real word. 
You're almost there. Keep pushing. Looks like you've learned how to swing that thing. I'm glad you noticed. No. You really know how to put up a fight, Kaine. That beast will crush you to a paste. I don't care. I have to save Yona. Come on, keep pushing it. It's like I, I can't kill it. You stubborn son of a bitch. Did you leave your strength in your other pair of undergarments? Let's Shut go. Up. Oh no. Shades in the library. Jonah! He rode always fast. Why is it. Don't be so now. Emil! Are you okay? You can't keep fighting like this. I have to. There's no other choice. Otherwise, why did I even come here? Get out of here, Emil! No! I won't abandon these people now. You told me once that my eyes had value. And that I shouldn't be ashamed of them. You told me that even a life like mine had purpose. So I won't just sit around and let you fight while I stay behind. Emil. Just don't die on me. I won't, Kaine. Let's take care of these shit hogs. <laughs> I like it. I love this sword. There's more. What is? It's the hat. No meal. Is there no way to kill this infernal thing? Let's go. Give me your powers. I actually love this power. You would have get in by. Perhaps we could chase it to the basement and seal it there. Those walls are thick rock. I doubt even this beast could break them. Works for me. Great. I love basements. Hey. Knock it down the basement. Let's go. Shit. No. It's healing. 
too quickly. Please tell me you have an idea. Had to do it again. Oh no, I don't want to fight it again. Oh. Okay, I have to go for this stage again. Oh. Here we go. Time to knock it downstairs. Double fist the feely. Dear God. No. <laughs> Yoda! He has a bug. Is that the leader of these creatures? It's been a long time, Grimoire Vice. Who are you? Grimoire what is Vice. this place? I am Grimoire Noir. I am you. What? Do you not remember, Grimoire Vice? We two serve a higher purpose. Enough lies. Stay back. Why do you try to suppress the memory? Do you fear hurting someone close to you? Preposterous. Your denial is preposterous. We are mere books created to serve the Shadow Lord. You have no right to forsake him. <laughs> the Shadow Lord? Do you remember our ultimate goal? Our ultimate goal? White and black shall fuse to one and set free shades to the world. Use us? No, I cannot. I will not. I will never! Your chance encounter with this boy. Your collection of the sealed verses. It was all set in motion by the Shadow Lord himself. No. Lies. The time has come for us to create a new and perfect world. We shall become as one, you and I. Become one. Vice, you dumbass! Cry. 
Start making sense, you rotten book, or you're gonna be sorry. Maybe I'll rip your pages out one by one. Or maybe I'll put you in the goddamn furnace. How can someone with such a big, smart brain get hypnotized like a little bitch, huh? Oh, Shadow Lord, I love you, Shadow Lord. Come over here and give Vice a big, sloppy kiss, Shadow Lord. Now pull your head out of your goddamn ass and start fucking helping us! <sighs> I am one with the Shadow. Huh? Bitch. We grimoires exist to create in this world a new and just paradise. We must unite. The world demands it. Paradise. Yes, and we are so close to realizing it. Please don't go, Vice. Who's there? It's okay. I'll understand. Keep the memory of Grimoire Vice alive forever. And that's... That's not all I'll do. You hear me? I'll chase you to the end of time. And I'll bring you back to us. So, Vice, please. Please come back. Damn it, we need to stop him. If we don't do something, that Black Book will absorb Vice. Then the world can finally bear witness to our true power. Vice! 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 We... We've got to... <laughs> For the last time, my name is Grimoire Vice, and it is not to be abbreviated. V Vice, Vice. Good to see you, Kaine. Although I don't think anyone has ever accused me of being a little bitch before. <laughs> and you, we meet again. Vice, you okay? I believe I could ask you the same question right now. Impossible. We must unite. We must become as one. I don't like you. And I want nothing to do with you. Besides, I have my companions. You're back! Of course, they're weak, and they whine when I leave. Right! It's almost too much trouble. But they are my friends. I shall fight by their side, now and forever. Vice, thanks. are still there. How dare you ignore them? Perhaps you should have scribbled them in my market. Hmm? Let us start by dispatching the nearby distractions. I can't use my magic. The fiend has stolen the sealed verses. Flinch. And you are the last one left, Noir. Or a 
address me by my proper name, fool! Here we go. There we go. Going for some beats, beat ins. What power do I get now? I had to move out of the way. Um. And you are the last one left, Noir. Noir, address me by my proper name, fool. And they're both like that. I want my full ability. Thank you. I mean, my seared bows is bad. Let's go.
What? You will understand in time. Get up! No! Give my sister back! No matter how things unfold, it all returns to us. All of it. Yona! 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 Are you okay? Yona! Is this blood? The fight's over. And I think we are lost. We? Sorry, guys. I think this is it. For me, too. <laughs> Kaine, no! Oh, quit crying. Look, before I go, we need to take care of this guy. Emil? Y yeah I want you to... I want you to petrify me. You can use me to keep this thing locked away down there. No! I can't! Kaine! Stop! He's right! It's suicide! You can't do it! Your powers exist to protect others, right? <laughs> Kaine! Just do it, Emil. But... If you don't, it's gonna break down this fucking door! I... I don't know what to do! Petrify Kane. Okay, I guess I don't have a choice. Kind of. No more crying, okay? Grow strong. <laughs> Never lose hope. Vice. Spare me the goodbye, hussy. I imagine it will take more than this to kill you. <laughs> I doubt it. That just happened. Wait for me, Yona. Wait for me, Kaine. Yona, can't. What? I, I swear. Why didn't we just lock the door with the key that I, I had? Oh. Oh. Five years later. What? Hold up.
I'm no kid no more. Okay, wait. Tab for items. One for two-handed. Two for one-handed. How much damage does this have now? I like the spiel. Was it? Holy. There's another poor. Damn it. Dress here. Oh, God. Oh, just get him, honey. Please. Oh. Goddamn shades are even attacked. And armored ones, no less. This village of yours seems to be. Ch it's all the Shadow Lord's fault. One day, five long years. It's been five years since they took my sister. 
I spent every waking moment searching for her, but all I found is heartache and despair. This world is winding down. Between the shades and the black scrawl, there won't be anyone left soon. My life now, and my purpose, is hunting shades. Someday I'll find a clue that will lead me. Popola called for you, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Lost a good deal of time with that. Yeah. I can now save. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave us off at this very point. Thank you for anyone who's joined me or has. And if you're staying to now, don't worry. I'm gonna be going live again in 10 to 20 minutes. As it seems like people are actually enjoying this Let's Play. And I'm really having fun playing this game. So, if you are enjoying, make sure to slap that like button. And subscribe so you can stay tuned whenever I'm streaming all of the episodes. And leaving it at that, I hope all you wonderful people have a good woofing day. Bye bye. See you soon if you want to stay tuned for my stream in like 20-ish minutes.